Ahoy mateys, and welcome back to Scream and Pirate EDC. Today we have another plunder plank. That's where a knife walks the plank if it's out of the collection, and if I plunder it, it stays. Now this one is very special because this knife is a variation of a knife that I am giving away in my 3K giveaway subscriber video. So what knife is it, guys? This is going to be the Christians and Knives Maverick S. Really excited about this one, guys. Excited to show it to you. I'm even going to show the variant that I am giving away, but let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys. So as per usual, stats on the screen. Only going to highlight a few things here. Uh, first up, the weight on the actual titanium one that I have here is going to be 3.7 ounces. But the micarta one that is being given away is 3.1, so 0.6 ounces lighter. Um, this is typically for the side-by-side uh, -side comparison, but wanted you guys to see the titanium with all the crazy accents versus the micarta. Now the micarta one is the one being given away. Okay, guys, your behind the edge, exactly the same, okay? Your overall length, exactly the same. Your cutting edge, exactly the same. It's just difference in materials. Um, after that, guys, we are looking at a beautifully thin blade. I love, love a good hollow ground. I'm gonna try to show him off with all that swedgy greatness. <laughs> really good stuff there guys really like that okay guys let's do some size comparisons because maverick s has been out for a little bit now some people have had it some people haven't but i wanted to show you guys all of this because heck you might be getting one if you enter in the giveaway so first up let's go ahead and start with the ad 20.5 from demco there you go, guys, right next to each other. Similar blade length um, is really what I wanted you to see there, okay? Uh, after that, one of the most popular, I think, knives ever. I can't believe how popular these are still. Still love mine. This is going to be the Protec Malibu, okay? There you go. Very similar blade shape. Very, very similar blade shape with that upswept, like, uh, sheep's foot. So really nice blade shape. Uh, after that, what I think is the reigning king of the two to $300 territory. Uh, one of my favorites, this is going to be the Urban EDC Supply Voxnays F5.5. Now these two absolutely are the head to head competitors with each other guys. Look at that. Similar blade shape, similar overall size, very similar in hand to me. Really really like these two a whole hell of a lot after that we have the we knives r vision r snex vision r there we go guys um bigger knife there but wanted you to see those two next to each other okay after that let's go ahead and get into what i would consider matthew christensen's peers so this is going to be the lucas p from matthew Ware. Okay, guys, there you go. After that, let's go ahead and grab the Brian Brown Jaeger M. Now, let's talk about my thoughts on this knife. Um, ergonomically, I was surprised. So, on the F5.5, you know, I'm typically having to put my finger back here or I'm choking up, which is fine because there's jimping out right where my thumb is. You're really close to the blade, but you're meant to hold the knife like this, which is more than fine. It is comfortable. The Jaeger, you know, I tend to not use the flat up here. I'm back here with this knife and I just kind of stretch out. You can put your finger on the flat. There's no jimping there for you, but this or this is your standard hold. You can move your hands around. On the Maverick, I got one spot, guys. I literally hook my th finger a little bit around the back, thumb goes right here on the flat, and I and I open it and I go to work. A big thing for me with a lot of knives on whether they stay is can I open it, 
immediately index, and am I immediately ready to get to work with the knife? The Maverick does that for me, which is great. I really do like that. As far as deployment, it does not matter which version you take. Reverse flick is buttery smooth. Thumb flick works. Left-handed, there you go. And can I left-hand reverse flick? Ooh, I don't know if I can on the frame lock. Can I do it on the liner? Yeah, there you go. So I can do it on the reverse flick on the one I'm giving away to you guys. So there you go. Um, I think the detent is wonderful on these. It is a little bit stronger than most, but not so much that I think it is bad in any way. Um, I do really like where the engagement of that detent ball is too, because I can just kind of shake that shut. Um, I will mention one thing on the liner. This is across the board. This has happened to a lot of people. There is a touch of lock stick. There you go, guys. And when I say a touch, I mean a touch, okay? Um, but I think that the liner lock is smoother on the closing. So there's that. Uh, guys, there is very minimal jumping. The only jumping you are going to find on these knives is going to be right there on your backspacer, okay? Uh, now, your Torx bit sizes, again, you can find these in my Amazon shop. There is a link in the description. So let's go ahead and grab that T8. That's my pivot. That's my body screws and my clip screws and my detent. T8 all around. I love it. Uh, after that, guys, you are looking at a beautiful, beautiful hollow grind, okay? Really, really like this hollow grind. And I really like the swedge up top. It's just a personal thing. I just like them. I think they look cool. Uh, in and out of pocket, guys. I mean, obviously with the liner lock, very, very easy. On the frame, I've had no problem with how much the clip extends over that rock lock relief here. It has been very easy in and out of pocket. Um, once again, on the blade shape, I think you're looking at like a modified sheep's foot. I really love the look of it. And part of the reason why I like that is because when I'm like this, guys, look where the blade is in relation to my fingers. So you can really get a nice cutting surface there and use the majority of the blade, which I do like. Um, that being said, guys, what, what do I personally think about my personal collection and will it be plundered or planked? I am going to plunder this knife. And part of that, about... 30% of that is because I like the way it compares to other knives. I am a reviewer, guys. I like comparing knives, okay? But also, I like it a bit more than some of the other knives I showed you. I really like that I can just pick it up, immediately index, and it's comfortable in hand, and I can immediately start using it. Also, great conversation piece with all of these beautiful accents. I think these are Tarmascus, but they might be Zerkutai. I don't remember off the top, guys. Really, really nice. And also, it's my favorite blade shape. A modified sheep's foot that's somewhere between a warning and a sheep's foot and hollow ground. I mean, guys, I love it. That's probably my favorite blade shape ever. The only thing that comes close to that is going to be like a Bowie or a Harpoon blade in close seconds. But overall, guys, this is a plunder for me. Um, I know a lot of people have been talking about this knife, especially with the lock stick on the liner lock. Again, it's very slight. I don't really think it's a whole lot. If you have a problem with it, you can always reach out to Matthew. He's very good about getting back to everyone. At least that's my experience, guys. <laughs> with all that being said, guys, don't forget, there's a giveaway going. First place gets the Liner Lock Maverick S. There's a bunch of other goodies there. Go enter. Also, there is uh, the Screaming Pirate V3 patches that are going to be dropping on October 30th. With that being said, guys, thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next one. You know, and I just, I like the blade shape, and I love the swedge on top, that swedgy, swedgy goodness. Mmm, swedgy. Swedgy.